So Hannah and I are in Hollywood, the Hollywood in California. And uh, what are we doing today? We are headed to the LPJ event at Wilshire Country Club. We're gonna find some of the Mizuno team members and ask them about their new equipment. I was at the Honda Classic with the Mizuno boys a couple of weeks ago and now I was able to tag along with Hannah. So let's go. Let's go to us. Hollywood mansions. That's pretty cool. How about the Hollywood sign on the putting green? Huh? That's pretty cool, isn't it? It's so sick. <laughs> All right, straight off the bat, we're walking down hole number 10 here to catch Stacy Lewis. We're gonna try to get some on-course interviews. Hannah is fully prepared with all the questions. Tripod. We got a gimbal <laughs> that's not on, so it looks a little bit funny, but. Backwards media credentials. Yeah. We're ready to go. And there we have Lauren. It's okay. Lauren is the boss this week. What are you really for these girls? Like, what's your position? Um, I am the player development rep. Player development rep. Yep. Slash tour rep this week for yep. the Misuno girls. So Lauren is here to make sure we're not doing any mistakes. Yeah. Make sure all the equipment is right, everybody's happy, yeah. and ready to go. Yep. Greens are tiny, quick, That's and very so unrelated. Yeah. So I'm here with Stacy Lewis, former world number one and Mizuno staff player. How yes, are you? I'm great, thank you. How beautiful is this golf course? It's awesome. This is a, a kind of a hidden gem here in Hollywood this week. Awesome. So Solheim Cup, you are yes. going to be the captain this yes. year. You've played your fair share of Solheim Cups, I won have. your fair share of matches. Yes. How are you feeling about being a captain instead of a player? I'm really excited. You know, I, I had a blast. I had more fun at any Solheim Cup than I've ever had last year being an assistant. And so I'm um, just really excited. It's been fun already, the process. The girls are excited and, um, you know, it's, it's we're watching golf and just seeing yep. who's, who's starting to trend in the right direction and, um, you know, getting all the little things done behind the scenes. Love that. Mm -hmm. So is there any strategy that you feel like you can take from playing in a Solheim Cup, something that you <laughs> felt like worked when you were there that you'll incorporate? Um, yeah, I mean, I think, you know, you obviously you got to get personalities together. I mm -hmm. think that's the biggest thing. Um, but, you know, just under these girls got to know, like, this golf is hard. It's not going to be perfect. You know, you just got to go out there and do the best you can. And, yeah. uh, you know, I want them to have the time of their life. I want it to be the most fun week they have all year. And I think the golf takes care of itself. I think you guys are going to be <laughs> successful. I'm biased. Well, thank I'm you. American. <laughs> yes. I hope you guys pull through. <laughs> but let's talk about equipment. Mm -hmm. So, yep. You went on a brief hiatus with Mizuno. I you did. were with them when you were world number one, and yes. now you're back. Yes. Is there anything with the equipment that you've noticed now that's different, the same? Um, well, it's like coming home. That's what I told I told my caddy, I told my agent when I got my clubs back. Um, just, just felt so similar to what I played. You know, I played Mizuno's in college and then was fortunate to be able to keep with you guys, um, you know, when I turned pro. So. It's, um, it's been like coming home. I mean, the, the equipment's great. You know, the irons are keep getting better. You know, the longer irons, I think, can get them up in the air more than they used to. So the technology keeps changing. And um, obviously the driver, huge advancements in the driver over the last couple of years too. Love that. Yes. <laughs> so your career has gone through mm -hmm. a few changes recently. Oh, yes, You're yes. a mom now. <laughs> yes. So have your goals shifted or have you created new goals since you've become a mom? Well, everything in my life has changed since becoming a mom. I mean, the way you go about your day, the way you think, um, you know, so, I mean, on the golf side, I still want to win golf tournaments. That's, that's really number one for me. And that's always been that way. If I can give myself an opportunity to win on Sunday, then, you know, I've accomplished my goal that week. Um, you know, but outside the golf course, it's, you know, making sure she's okay and mm -hmm. has what she needs. We try to get to bed on time and things like that. So, um, Priorities have definitely shifted. Yeah, a lot of players I feel that have had kids recently will come back and say, I want my kid to see me win now. Is mm -hmm. that something that you felt? Yeah, yeah, and she, I did win, but I was in Scotland. So oh. she, so we, we, got to, we got to FaceTime and she got to watch it on TV. But um, it's just, I wanted her to see what I do and she's not gonna remember it right now. And um, I just always saw my family being part of my career, not kind of after my career's mm -hmm. over. and. I mean, it's been so great for her the last three years. I mean, she's grown up on this tour and the amount she's traveled and 
been around other people and around other kids. Um, it's it's really been great for She's her. She's got a lot of people that love her. <laughs> she does. She has a lot of, she calls them all her friends. So, But so they're cute. girls that are out on tour. They're quite a bit older, but they're all her friends. So it, it's awesome. That's awesome. Well, tell me a little bit about the equipment that you've moved into for this season. So back to the JPX irons that, you know, they sent me multiple new, all the new stuff. Mm -hmm. And I kind of went back to old, fa old faithful with the irons. Um, and I think the biggest change is really the driver for me. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just got the technology. I like to hit a little fade. So we got some technology that helps keep it a little straighter for me, Love which that. is awesome. Um, and then obviously getting the irons or the wedges. It's, um, it's, it's, it's weird. You know, I, for some reason, the Mizuno, the weighting of the Mizuno has always felt so good to me. Mm -hmm. And when I did, when I wasn't playing Mizunos, I had a really hard time finding other irons that match that. That's so, so interesting. Um, so it was, it was just once I, I was like, these, this is what I've been looking for, you know, and when I got them back Love in that. my hands, so. When I was younger, mm -hmm. looking up to you, yes. I read an article <laughs> that said that when you are standing in the fairway, you're looking at the places on the green where you want to putt from. Does that still Correct. apply? That's still your plan? Absolutely. You, um, you know, it's a lot of the work in the practice round like today is, is figuring out what correct side of the hole to be on. And sometimes it's pretty obvious, you know, if mm -hmm. it's pretty slow back at you. But, you know, sometimes it's better to be past the hole because that's putting back uphill or the right side or the left side. And, it makes um, a lot of sense. You know, just try to make life easier. Make make rounds where you have more tap ins and and less three and four footers for par. Yeah, golf is easier for her than it is for most of <laughs> yeah. us. But make it even easier. That's right. That's right. You have been with Mizuno for a long time. You yes. No one knows the equipment over time probably yes. better than you. <laughs> yes. So, what is your favorite Mizuno club, either now or in the past? Um, gosh, it's, well, it's, I'd probably have to pick like an eight iron. It's always just, I don't know why, it's just always been my club that I like. I mean, the irons, obviously, I think, have been something I've loved for probably almost my entire golf career now. So, um, and it probably hasn't changed much, to be honest. I, I still love the irons, but but the driver, I, I love the way the driver sits on the ground. Um, that was something that I, when I was with Mizuno before we worked on a lot, was just getting that look right and getting it to, to sit right on the ground. And um, so it, it's slowly, it's creeping up the list, but I'm not sure if it's gonna pass the irons. <laughs> we love that. <laughs> Were you nervous interviewing Stacy? A little bit. I mean, she was like, who I looked up to when I was little. Yeah. Because the whole story behind Stacy was like, she overcame all this stuff with her back and she like averaged 77 in high school or something and then got to the LPGA. So yeah, I was obsessed with her. It she was, was cool. so nice too. So nice. We were a little bit scared, but she was cool. I mean, she's number one, former number one in the world. So yeah. you expect them to be a little bit like a diva and she's not at all. <laughs> not at all. That's, a, that's an honest thing to say. Yeah, yeah. that's true.